Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Uh, hello again everyone and welcome back, day 48 here, and you may notice almost immediately I am joined today by a little friend known as Scurry. The boys are back together, I had to, I had to, I just had to, after yesterday seeing everyone with the pets at Winter Todd and getting jealous, I was like, fuck this, I'm going to buy Scurry back, so I dropped trade of myself a mill like 15 minutes ago from the main Iron Man and Scurry is reunited. The goal today is threefold but it should be a nice simple chill day and I'm not particularly expecting to complete all three parts of my goals but if we do that's awesome. Two out of three I'll be happy. The first of which is to get a strength level, we only need just under 9000 XP to get there. The second potential goal, which I'm not sure if we'll get, is to get our attack up. We need 56,000 attack XP, so on top of the 9000 strength XP, I'm not sure if we'll quite get there. And then the third thing that I'm hoping to get done is 70 magic, so great start already because I forgot to take Alks with me to my birdhouse run, hopefully we get our alks on point though from this point onwards so yeah i'm gonna go back to nagua because i want to do alking not flicking and i can't alk while it's curious at least not anywhere near as efficiently as i can at nagua's so that is the plan at least until i get the magic levels i want for bursting Nagua's is the preferable option. After that point, Scurry is probably better, but we won't have much melee training left to go at that point anyway, so... I mean, we already don't have that much left to go, if things go well with defense bursting. Well, that was one of the quicker farm runs we've ever done. Six and a half minutes were all done. It's almost got me feeling like I've forgotten something. Third houses are all loaded, farm's all done. Everything is on track, just in my head. It's like, damn, that was quick. My alkin wasn't bad either. Okay, let's just abort this. Get it up at decent prices. Purple Sweet's not selling at the moment. Take them down slightly. It's not gonna harm. What are in our seeds right now? 24 kit. That seems reasonable in enough. I'll just get two days worth if they buy that. And if not, I'll get some Aventos later, but yeah, let's not fuck around, let's get to business. Don't know why I just put my teleport runes away, because we need them right fucking now. I can't figure out if we even need to be doing farm and birdhouse runs every day at this point. Like, we're already pretty comfy money-wise, we're not going to need that much more. It just seems like an inefficiency not to, since though we spent the time to set it all up. I don't think we need to, but I think we probably still should. I don't know though. If you have thoughts about that, definitely uh, let me know in the comments. If you think that the time for farming is is gone or is going. If I bring the DDS, do I bring the D Defender with it? I feel like I probably should. I feel like that might be the play. Quick prayers. Yep. Strength at the minute. Strength. All looks good. Gonna go ahead and tag this with orange. Get back to my alkin. 369 alks till level 70. Seems like a lot for a day. I don't know, maybe we can get it done. Yeah, I'm even alkin while I'm making potions. Oh, it's so 
so hard to tell. Alright, that's gonna have to do. I wonder what our Chaos Rune stack is actually looking like at the minute. Must be pretty decent. We've got 4,945 Chaos Runes from this grind. Well, will make that f some more on top of the pile. Did you drop stacks of roughly 50 very often? So, it's actually not terrible if you're like an Iron Man trying to get some runes for grinds while also training your melee grinds. I can't wait to come and chill here on the Wild West account for a while. Gather up some crucial Iron Man resources. For those who are unfamiliar, I spoke about that account during uh, a live stream of one hour limit locked earlier in the season. But that's the account I'm planning to play after this one and make content about. Wow, West. I actually was name checking accounts for it yesterday because I want a suitably cowboy sounding name for the account with it being the whole Wild West theme. That's how I was name checking. Cooper Howard's taken. The, my favorite, my absolute favorite cowboy name that I thought of was taken, so I can't get it. Dick Johnson. I was like, there's no, there's no more cowboy name than that. That's Dick Johnson is the one, but someone's got Dick Johnson. Someone's got it with a space as well. If you have a good cowboy name idea, feel free to leave it in the comments. Maybe I'll take it up as the account name for the Wild West series if, if it's not already taken. I don't think many of you will be able to beat Dick Johnson though. There is our strength level 70. It's so good. We're on to attack. We were working at over 100,000 XP an hour there, so maybe we do in fact have a chance to get an attack level as well today. The magic level is the one I'm really hoping for because I would like to get to bursting and if we can just get to 70 then I can start bursting tomorrow if I feel like it, which I more than likely will. I just didn't want to go back before 70 and get there and then be like, damn, I should have waited. This is still not great. I remember it being so easy when I was doing it with all the spells and I think that being able to freeze the ranger around the corner and then heal up with blood burst is what made that feasible. Because they just naturally get frozen at the corners by the way that they path around. You can get like both of them frozen at the same corner and you're still hitting them with burst. We run out of aggro. Oh, I think my DDS might still be on strength. Changed it over. Well, I've already done like a hundred alks. I think it's actually very feasible. So we should definitely get this magic level today. Even if we don't get the attack level as well, that was just sort of like an added bonus. Like I said, if I got 2 out of 3 today, I was going to be happy with attack, strength, and magic. We've already got the strength level, and I mean, even with the rates currently showing, which I think are a bit lower than they actually are, because it was getting sapped by our strength XP and it hasn't caught up yet, we are on track for that attack level as well. Maybe we do get 3 for 3, and it actually looks like we do a hit points level 2, so maybe we get 4 out of 3. Could turn out to be a very productive day after all. Gotta say, it does feel nice having Scurry back around. Just chilling with us. Putting in work for the team with the moral support. Unfortunately, we won't be taking him into raids. Tombs is not a safe place for the Scurry. It's simply not worth the risk. I don't think I care what pets we ever get on this account from this point forward. If we ever got a pet, I'd just be like, whatever, Scurry is my pet. Scurry's the only one I care about. We've been through so fucking much together, me and this little rat. He was here for my gender change when we went all Lara Croft. He was here like every time I died, because he ran off. How loyal is this rat, really? <laughs> Doesn't matter because I'm loyal to him. Scurry's my boy. Ultimacan can get lost. I already have him on my main anyway. Hey, we got Renard Seeds. And there is 72 hit points. I'm being pretty quiet this episode because trying not to lose my focus. As long as we keep the current rates up, we are on track for both our magic and attack levels in about 20 minutes, which will leave me about 10 minutes to possibly do this hard clue that we got. Although I should read it to make sure it's a step we can do. I mean, yeah, we'll have to buy some stuff from the GE, but we can get it all and sell it back afterwards. It's an awkward step though. I might drop it until we leave in case we get another one and it's better. I'm not going to be doing like full on juggling and stuff, just it will stay there for the entirety of our session, so 
There's no risk in dropping it and seeing if a nicer step appears. Oh, I think we lost aggro again. I don't even know what our max it is at the minute. I haven't been paying attention. I know I've seen a lot of 18s. I can't remember what it was last time we were here. But we have gained a few strength levels since then, so it may well be... I mean, it's at least 35, but I think it might be 36, maybe even 37, who knows. Maybe I've already seen it, I just haven't been paying a great deal of attention to the hit spots. Too focused on my Alkin. Well, there was a 17 there that wasn't, and we've seen 18s that were on both halves, I believe. Double 18 just there. 36, that is our max hit in this. Sulfur Blades at the minute. It's not that great, but... The benefit here isn't just the max hit. I think that's the thing that goes under the radar a lot. People are like, okay, sure, it adds plus 40 max hit, plus 8 if you use a double tick weapon, a double attacking weapon like this one, because it's 4 to each half of it. Well done, you max tax 4 higher than it would be otherwise with a sulfur blades, but you could get much more max hit from another weapon, so why not use the other weapon? Well, that's because every low hit is also increased by 4, which means that all your 1s become 5s, and your, your hit splat range goes from 1 to 28, or 1 to 32, let's say, if you had a weapon that was exactly equivalent. For, wait, no, it was 36, wasn't it? Let's say you have a weapon that, that does 36 damage. Why would you use this one instead that also does 36 damage? Because the lower limit is... Uh, the lower limit per hit is 5, 1 plus 4, rather than 1, which means your DPS is just, like, you're missing the bottom quarter of your DPS, basically. Maybe not quarter, but 1s, 2s, 3s, and 4s not being ever there, unless that's how much health the creature has left. That's a big, big thing. Definitely goes under the radar. Because people just focus on max hit so much in this game. But I think min hit is something that Jagex is starting to play with more now. We're seeing more and more examples of it coming into the game. This, like, Sunfire runes, for example, having a minimum hit of increase by 10% or something. And I think there was an example in Leagues as well that was kind of similar. One of the relics, maybe. Can't remember exactly. And I think min hit is actually more... Oh, did I actually... I just got a notification saying I would have got another hard clue, but I'd picked it up by accident. Fucking hell, man. I need to stop yapping. I've missed two opportunities for hard clues. It's actually shit. I think we may have just hit aggro again. And there's the 70 magic coming in. Oh, I may as well keep Alkin just to be efficient, but we do not need to anymore. That is the end of our planned Alkin. I'm hoping from here the bursting will take us the rest of the way to 75 in a speedy amount of time. It should be relatively quick. Just need that attack level and then we can get out of here for the day. Do this clue, I think. The reason I want to get the clue done and cracked out of the way is because you want to be on the normal spell but for clues generally to get around. And I think I'm just going to switch straight onto Ancients at the end of this session. Make sure I'm nice and prepared tomorrow for a day full of bursting. So I want to see if we can crack the clue out first before switching my spellbook over to Ancients. I mean, now that we don't need to Alk, this may be our last trip to the Nagui, y'all. I hope y'all have had fun here. I know we've been here a lot and it's been a bit of a grind, so you probably haven't had that much fun. But it has been very, very, very productive for the account. Has made our melee training an absolute breeze. I couldn't be more happy that this got added into the game as a low-key training method. And I still think it's way, way underutilised by the majority of the RuneScape community. First, I never see anybody here. Very, very rarely anyway. I think we're going to get our level light right as we run out of potions, basically. And there is 68 attack. We managed to get it done. 88 overall combat level. That is all of our goals for the day. Completed. I'm going to get the hell out of here. And I don't know if birdhouses are going to be done quite yet. Let's remind ourselves what this horrible clue was. It's not too bad. We are just, of course, going to turn in our 51 sulfurous essence for the free room crafting XP. Thank you very much, Atali. You are leveling ring crafting on this account single-handedly. Third houses are ready, so I may as well crack them out real quick before... 
doing this clue and head to the GE, stick the nests up and this shit. I don't know why I have a bad feeling about this clue. There's 6700. Okay, we probably want the other teleports and we want this three things, don't we? Missed it. Oof. Bone spear. We just go to the Mages Guild. I'm pretty sure a Mystic Cat's cheaper there. It's like six and a half K or something. I think we just go to the Wizards Guild. If it's not buying at that price, then fuck it. Every time I teleport to Yanil, I get filled with regret at not having that. The straight Yanil teleport. Because I'm just so used to teleporting straight in on my man. Oh no, it's 15k here. It's not much cheaper. Oh well. Shiloh Village, how are we getting there? How are we getting there, lads? I guess. Shiloh Village. I was thinking Tybalo. Shiloh. Tybalo, Shiloh. Forgetting stamina as always. Classic me. I don't know if I'm going to have time to put myself on Ancients if I chase this clue down. Highly depends what the next step is. We have done Shiloh Village, right? I'm not tripping. Yes. Well, that was a long run. Okay, there's a double agent. I never even realised that. Let's just get a DDS out, I guess. Should be fine. Come on, man. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting onto engines today. Kind of sucks. What we got? Uh, it's not a very nice step. I don't really want to do that. I think I'm just going to abandon this clue. I just did not feel like doing that at all. I need to make sure I sell that shit though, do I? So I'll leave it there in my inventory as a reminder. Yeah, I don't feel good about that clue. It's not a great clue. Uh, I was hoping to get on Ancients at the end of this day, so that tomorrow, after doing burbs and herbs, we could just spend the entire day bursting. But, we still don't have a good way to even get to this pyramid, to be honest. Ooh, I guess. I could change in somebody else's house, couldn't I? Can I use my own house? Can I use my Iron Man's house? Are Iron Men allowed to invite people into the homes? Other than group Iron Men? I'm not sure. I know they can't go into other people's homes. Not sure if it works the other way around, I might have to test it. Someone knows, let me know. Anyway, all that aside, about Ancients and tomorrow, what about today? How the fuck did we do? Well, we did pretty fucking well. Look at that, 137,000 XP gained. That is an above average day by all standards. We got our standard little hunter and farmer. Farmer being slightly higher than usual because the Amanto we're planting is higher level than the Renars that we usually plant. We got 9k strength XP to get ourselves all the way up to a lovely clean 70. That is where we want to be for our entry level raids. Now all we need is two more attack levels because we also got a level there up to 68 today. And four more defense levels which I'm hoping to get from bursting. We will be bursting up our mage now that it is 70 and we can use ice burst. Oh, we're going to be using this baby a lot and it's going to get us a lot of magic XP and a lot of defense XP and hopefully a lot of loot too, which could certainly be nice. In addition to all of that, yeah, we got the 34,000 magic XP to get up there today. We got 57,000 attack XP. That's how we got up a level there. We also got 22k hit points XP and a level in hit points. So we're up to 72 now. That one is just obviously always increasing because we're mainly a combat focused account. So it's nice to see it number go up every day. Runecraft, also a little bit of XP there just thrown into the mix with the... Uh... Sulfurous Essence, but yeah, nothing really. I don't know where that 4 defense XP came from, but whatever, bro. Oh, I guess maybe that Bone Spear just now was on defensive. Right, I think that is enough of a roundup for today. We're doing sick on gear still. We've still got a ton of money in miscellanea. We've got 2.5k in our invent, just sitting there chilling. We are going to need to spend a lot of money to get ourselves doing Ancients tomorrow. We're going to need some death runes, some blood runes, some more chaos runes, and a lot of war runes. I will have to spend a large portion of my money tomorrow, I think, to get all that in. But we don't really need money for very much anymore, so the only other thing we'd actually want money for is when we get to 75 strength and defense for upgrades to our melee setup and for a serpentine help for all three setups but we don't desperately need that you know we're not needing it for entry mode at least so yeah it's gonna be good to get back to bursting tomorrow yeah 
things are going well. Steady, steady progress here. Hopefully the first successful day of bursting tomorrow, because obviously we've been there before, but it did not go so well. Hopefully this time it's a lot, lot better. I am excited for it, as I'm sure you can tell by the amount of times I've said bursting in the past five minutes. Enough of that now, though. It's time for me to go and have a spliff and then edit this video. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, of course, and subscribe to the channel so you can join the growing family of one hour limit locked addicts. Yes, I'm calling you addicts now, because some of you are disgusting little goblins commenting and liking in the first minute of a video being published, and I absolutely fucking love it. Don't stop being disgusting little gremlin goblins. Keep being little disgusting gremlin goblins for me. Gremlin? Gremlin? Did I just say Greblin Gomlin? Why does that feel like the name of a bard? Greblin Gomlin, at your service. But that's enough from me. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.